Hey everybody, welcome back for chapter number five. We're going to be doing the uh, the Battle of Claw Island mission today. So, yeah, this is a this is a pretty interesting little mission here. If you haven't gotten a chance to do it in your personal story yet. All right, we have to meet our mentor. The creature we found hadn't been in Lion's Arch long. We may still have time. We have to find the Watch Commander and convince him to ready the defenses. All right, let's get on that. So we're going to be looking for Commander Talon. I smell something odd. Do you smell it? Smell? No. But the back of my neck keeps itching for some reason. I don't like this. Something's definitely wrong. Yeah, you guys have the uh, right idea. Is that Traherne up there talking to Commander Talon? What is the term? The necromancer? He comes through here every few months on his way to war. That guy creeps me out. Agreed. Oh, and apparently they're up here, not up there. I don't know what that guy was pointing at. I've researched the situation extensively. The Orions will strike here on Claw Island. Okay. You causing trouble? Yes. Yes, I am. Trahan, it's been a long time. You study ore. Have there been any signs of an attack on its way? Valiant! Yes, Claw Island is in great danger. Thank the Mother Tree that you're here as well. Well, that seemed to recognize me. Most of the times, uh, Trahan's like, oh, pleasure to meet you. Thank you for meeting with us, Watch Commander Tolan. We have grave news. One of Zaitan's minions breached the city. We destroyed it, but the creature was likely scouting for a much bigger force. An attack is imminent. Dun dun dun. What? That's extremely unlikely. We've seen no sign of an impending attack. If there was to be one, we'd know of it. Tibble left poor. It is you, my friend. I should have known your order would be aware of the danger. Cogs and gears. It's Traherne. We're lucky you're on the island. Convince this guy that we're serious. First, let me introduce you to my partner. One of the truest and most loyal friends I've ever had. Lightbringer, this is Traherne. One of the Silvari firstborn. Okay, this is just really odd Mysterious now. Mysterious foremost scholar on Zaitan and Or, And a friend of the Order. A fleet of dead ships <laughs> is launched okay. from the Straits of Devastation. The risen sail beneath a cloak of stealth. Whatever you've seen, it can't be a real threat. Claw Island can withstand any assault. Speak with my commanders, Brack and Mira. Once you review our defenses, you'll realize there's nothing to fear. <laughs> yeah, well. Look at me, Traherne. I'm out and about on a mission. A field agent at last. Congratulations, Tybalt. I know how much you wanted that. You should get out from under all those books and join us. They're starting to look all loose. It's good to see you, my friend. If you don't mind, I'll accompany you on your rounds. It's been a while since I've toured the fortress. Chill in the air. It is beginning. Be on alert. The Orions are planning a major attack against Claw Island. Tell the Watch Commander Talon that the gunnery emplacements are ready. The fortress here on Claw Island houses more 24 pounders than a ship of the line. We'll be ready to fight the Orions. Don't doubt that. Check on Deputy Mira. She's in charge of the beach patrols. The Lion Guard don't understand. This won't be a sortie. It'll be a massacre. Yeah, pretty much. Why are you guys walking so slow? I channel the wind. The air is ominous. Welcome to Beach Patrol, the most dangerous duty on Claw Island. Deputy, a massive attack is on its way from Orr. You must prepare your troops. If we fall, 
Our last order is to light those three signal towers. We have to warn Lion's Arch if the fortress is lost. In a hundred years, they've never once been lit. We're very proud of that. <laughs> Deputy Mira, sound the alarm. There are undead on the if beach. If an invasion's really coming, we'll need everyone on the island to hold the line. <laughs> yeah. So much fire, love it. Thankfully, these guys are not uh, immune, like the destroyers. Traherne, I thought you said the attack would be significant. It was a feint. They're testing your defenses. More will come, and soon. Makes sense. Report to Watch Commander Talon and tell the men to be ready. All right. We'll give this a shot. Studied Orion creatures for twenty-five years. All my life, I have been drawn to combat with them. My wild hunt. Do you think the commander will listen to us now? Uh, no, turn. I do not think the commander will listen to us. I have been drawn to war. My wild man, he's freaking out. Guess I'm just going too fast for him. Even with all my research, we still know so little about defeating them. Well, then what's the point? <laughs> Sorry, I don't really like to earn. So the rest of the story is going to be, you know, pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty turn bashing. Okay, let's see. They barely ruffled our feathers. Is that all they brought? There will be more, much more. Keep watching the sea. You're a scholar, not a general, firstborn. Why should we trust you? The fortress is under attack. That's why. <laughs> on the wall. Hostiles incoming. The wall. Being over. Well, that was quick. I like how, you know, they basically pop out of the water. <laughs> Anyways, I like how uh, pretty much they pop out of the ground and, oh my gosh, we're already being overrun! <laughs> Not too good at the uh, at their job there, I don't think. I remember this part from last time. It was actually very, very difficult because uh, when I did it before, I mean, it was literally just non-stop, um, unending waves. Oh, come on. Move it. Did I get... I glitched into the wall? Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Really? Oh, okay, good. Whew. Uh, needless to say, I've had that happen a time or two. Anyway, this is where it gets really hard to uh, resurrect her. It looks like they may have moved her, because before she was standing right in that area, and it was nigh on impossible, because you were constantly in combat, constantly having to dodge. I mean, it was, it was a mess. Oh, 
All right, come on, Mira, get back on your feet. See, now we just have these one random little guys coming for us. Okay, well, if he's just gonna ignore me, I guess. Uh... I'm injured, bad. Get me to Talon. I don't think we did my best. Time to just run for it. <laughs> they really don't like me using that ability. Mira, how stand the beaches? Fallen, sir, and a lot of good soldiers with them. We have to light the watchtowers. Let lion charts think we've lost? <laughs> no, Mira, not yet. Claw Islands withstood much worse. Get on a trebuchet. Dead ship in the harbor holds their reinforcements. Sink it! Sure, why not? Because, you know, there's nothing funner than shooting a trebuchet. Glorious air. Ferocious fire. I mean, I'd much rather be actually on the uh, cannons, but whatever, right? Okay, I need to use this. Ah, uh, come on, camera, stop freaking out. That's the other thing, though. I mean, it's so far away, it's like, I don't... It's really hard to uh, target. Guess we'll just go full power, see if that hits it. No idea if I uh, hit it or not. <laughs> See, that looked too short. See, I mean, it looks like it's not even remotely close to hitting it. Hell of thing. <laughs> Apparently, that was it. <laughs> yeah, um, don't think that's gonna work. Oh, hey, look, we're being overrun completely. Wow, good timing, Drern. <laughs> medic! We need a medic over here! Medic! Commander Talon, hold on. You'll be all right. Quiet, Mira. Soldiers don't need lies. Retreat to the city. Tell the Commodore. We did all we could. By your will, Commander. I swear to you, this isn't over. Mira. The island is overwhelmed. We have to evacuate the Lion Guard and ignite the watchtowers to warn the city. No. You'll never make it to the beacon with these risen monstrosities chasing you. 
We'll have to fight our way back. The Lion Guard will make a stand in the courtyard while you go for the tower. God's willing, the Risen will be too busy fighting us to stop you. Your bravery is commendable, Deputy Mira, but your soldiers cannot survive a protracted battle against this many undead. No duh. It's the duty of every Lion Guard to lay down our lives to protect our city. If that's what it takes, that's exactly what we'll do. We'll rally in the courtyard. You light the warning beacons. Now go! Everyone, fall back to the courtyard. Rally to me for one last stand. Yeah. Just think, if the commander had heeded our warnings, this would have been, uh, you know, not nearly as big of an issue. So many risen. I like how they just spawn out of nowhere, too. Woo! Okay, then. Might have been a bit too much. Yeah, there we go. That's what we like to see. They've been lit. Oh, that's lovely. Well, I gotta say, uh... Oh, I was gonna say that Tybalt did a good job holding them off, but, uh, apparently not. I have 16 stacks of might on me, 19. <laughs> I got Traherne's not taking any damage, though. Thanks, Traherne. Come on, Tybalt. Get back on your feet. All right, we got to help them hold out against the Risen. Get a few. There we go. If only these guys actually dropped anything. People would probably just sit here and farm, never advance a step.
boy. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna happen, boys. Watch yourselves. That creature's breath attack would corrupt. Hmm, I thought we had to come back and do this. I must be getting things out of order in my head. That happens. Yeah, exactly. See, I thought we weren't ready to take that on just yet. Alright, Tybalt. Thanks for helping. Ah. Oh, of course, just as I get my lead out. All right, here we go. Retreat. The dragon's servants will never let our ship sail. If they surround the docks, they'll slaughter us. The Saitan's forces will grow. Our soldiers are too injured to fight. They can barely walk. We can't form a defense and still get them all aboard. I haven't always lived bravely, but I think... I think I'd like to die that way. What? Tybalt, what are you planning? After I lost my hand, I joined the Order of Whispers. Lost because his hand? The jar thought I was useless. Oh, I guess he does have a fake hand. He engineer. I said I wanted to fight the dragons, and I did. But then I spent six years as a researcher, never facing my fears. Never even trying. Nobody believed I had courage. Not even me. And then you came along. You trusted me then, my friend. I need you to trust me now. Okay. I can do this. Go! There's no time to argue. Just believe in me. No, Tibble, don't do it. I won't let you have them. Mira is in bad shape. You will have to cut a path for us. Lion guard, hurry. No, Tibble. Oh. See, that just seems like such a wasted sacrifice. I really don't understand that at all. All right. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't, it doesn't necessarily seem like it's something that he needed to, to sacrifice himself for that. I mean, we could have just closed the door. We were standing right there and uh, taking care of things. But I mean, I guess it's a little more dramatic that way. But you know, they take and they they develop these really really good in depth characters, and then all of a sudden, yeah, they're um, gone. I don't know that I like that. Okay. I know, so tired. That's what happens when you're dead.
All right, we made it. Tally ho! Back to Lion's Arch. Ah, oh, poor Tybalt. Poor rest of those soldiers that didn't actually have names. The ship seriously looks like it's about to sink there. It's riding really low in the water. Ugh, <laughs> oh, so sad. <laughs> 